All right, thank you, Hunter. Robbins Air Force Base is still looking to fill hundreds of jobs as part of its 1212 hiring campaign. Now, each Monday morning this month, we are bringing you everything you need to know to be Robbins ready. Last week, we took you to the gyro shop at Robbins to learn what it takes to land a job as an electronics mechanic. This morning, we're introducing you to an electronics technician and what she did to get her job working on the A-10 aircraft. I worked in law enforcement for about six years, and prior to that, I went to Georgia Southwestern for communications. But for the last year, Rebecca Ludwig's been here in the A-10 shop at Robbins, working as an electronics technician. I couldn't really do military as a single parent, so I decided to do, you know, the civilian side. She wasn't quite sure what that would look like when she applied. I didn't have as much experience as I thought I did, because I got out here and I had no um, prior knowledge on military type stuff. But she learned quickly and now spends her day building and repairing heads up displays for the A-10 aircraft. Having prior electronics experience is helpful. Um, I know we've had several people who are former military who had experience doing that, logistics and stuff like that. We've had people who worked with car dealerships working on radios and things of that nature too. So if you have previous experience with electronics in areas like design, evaluation, testing or maintenance, or if you have trade or industry training through a technical school program, this could be a look at your future. And ladies, Ludwig says that means you too. It is kind of a man's field and there's kind of a expectation that the men are going to be better at it and women aren't, but it's absolutely not the truth. There are plenty of females out here who know just what they're doing and the guys are willing and happy to work with them too. After all, she says, it is called Team Robins. The more work we can do and the more people we have on the team, the more planes we can get in the air. And to make your resume really sore, Ludwig says you'll also need good communication skills if you want to be Robbins ready. So here are the qualifications for this job. An electronics foundation really helps, but a specific college degree is not required. Now your experience level in electronics will help determine your pay. According to the federal hiring site USA Jobs, electronics technicians earn anywhere from $18.94 an hour to $24.04 an hour. And we do have all of this information for you on 13WMAZ.com, including a link to the Work at Robbins site where you can submit your application. But before you apply, you will definitely want to check out our interview with the Chief of Human Resources Management at the Air Logistics Complex. He gave me some tips on how to make sure your resume really sticks out. And next week, tune in, same time, same place, we will be taking a look at jobs in functional testing to get you Robbins ready.